continuing with the Thieves Guild with the more Rio gone. Just came back from Solitude and now I have to check in with Mercer. There's a huge conspiracy going on with the Thieves Guild. Gullum and I give up any information on our buyer? No, it, it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. Something's odd. I know her techniques, her skills. But she wanted revenge. She All she needed me, to do was no one left that could inform. possibly catch her. If only we knew where the she was. guards where the thieves' guild is, and they'd be wiped out. Most likely. There's only one place that could be. A place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. So now I'm going to exchange one of my pieces of armor. Looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm not taking it back. Okay, there you go. When, and I did that because of the carrying capacity. I wanted that boost a little bit. Sorry, lass. I've got important things to do. We'll sp
disrespect the law and you disrespect me. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Okay, where am I going? North of the Windhelm. Shouted him upon.
You there, a traveler, over here. The Imperialists think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of that.
Good. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins, and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Twenty-five years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus' former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men and the Ratway became a bloodbath. I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered, and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septum and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. She was a stubborn Dunmer. Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last breath. Hmm. Have your weapon at the ready. I'm certain Carlia knows we're here. Yeah, it's probably a given. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Hmm, this one doesn't look too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how, and a lot of skill. That should do it. After you.
stench in here. This place smells of death. Holy Jogar. Be on your guard. What is it? Yeah, Chogar. there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of the traps. of operations. Something near. So ends the lesson. from me. Must be able to steal health. There's two more of them ahead. Who's there? The 
looks like he also ran through a trap as well. I think this is being used in the base. quite a few of them down so bone shine clever rig to wake the drogger I bet don't blunder into any of them
from me. How disappointing. Yeah, that is this bleeding health from his enemies. Very good at getting around traps. Of course, AI is not going to think about hopping over such a trap. They don't really see the traps. Also door different. up ahead. Looks perfect for hiding an ambush. Be ready. Huh? Something's near. Your feeble attempt to hide is insulting. Challenge.
would like to keep the ha Warhammer. sold a lot of stuff before I came here. Okay, this is a dead end. Infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlia already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. This is puzzle on the Carlia's close, I'm certain. Now let's get moving. your heart give me a reason to try you're a clever girl Carlia. buying golden glow estate and funding haunting room meadery was inspired to ensure an enemy's defeat you must first undermine his allies it was the first lesson gallus taught us you always were a quick study not quick enough otherwise gallus would still be alive gallus had his wealth and yet you all he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Okay, so I'm just paralyzed over here. How interesting. It appears Gallus' history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way, and it prevented your death. More than you'll ever realize. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. 
All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus' murder. My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus' remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Enther. Gallus' friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. He was a scholar, a master thief, and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales, and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were... very close. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Remember, speak only to Enther. Trust no one else. There's Winterhold right there. Something here, but I'm gonna stick around at the moment. I just want to say... I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? 
like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experience. Yes, yes, what is it? This. This Carlia. Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? No problem. Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Well, for the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. <laughs> ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. Yes, I suppose you're right. Forgive me. I've lost several close friends to the Falmer, and it tends to distort my view. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. They're reforming the Dawn Guard.
The reason he's breaking off is that if it has no way to get to me, then there's no point in trying. A lot of ways they are kind of practical. Refugees didn't get away for him. They got stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what. They could have been attempting to go to Winterhold, I suppose. Not much else out here. Solitude. Unless I take no shoot, I took the long way around and I came right on back to Winter Hall. Oh, it was a bit weird. Let's see if we get turned around. easier to just follow the road.
That's interesting. 